Hey everybody. I have been keeping some cyanobacteria alive over here at my workstation for quite a while now. And today is the day we're going to shoot a little bit of video about it because I want to get rid of this stuff. If you've got this green, thick algae that grows, I don't know why, okay, there we go, I'm getting a little bit better look at it. It's hard to tell what it looks like in this capacity, but that grows in sheets across the surface of things. Mostly, or most frequently, you will see that growing on the leaves of your plants. So if you've got this strange algae in your tank and it grows across the surface of your leaves, and when you get in there with your thumb and forefinger and you can sort of wipe it off and it comes right off, it's this sort of sheet of nasty stuff like that, and you can't figure out why your algae eating fish won't eat it, that's why they won't eat it. That's not algae, that is actually cyanobacteria. And it's a very, very primitive organism, and it is sort of a symbiosis between a plant and a bacterium. And it behaves like algae, but it is not algae. So it's often called blue-green algae, or sometimes it's called slime algae. But that is actually cyanobacteria, and that gives you a nice good look at it out of the tank. So if you've ever been doing tank maintenance and cleaning and you get this weird looking algae that you're not quite sure what it is because it seems to be a strange algae, that's what you're looking at. They do make products to deal with it. Uh, once you know what it is and can identify it, it's actually fairly easy to deal with. It's not harmful. It doesn't hurt your fish, doesn't poison anybody or anything like that. It does block the light from getting to your plants. If you get too much of it in the tank, it will actually start uh, throwing your oxygen and CO2 balances off and things like that. So it is a nuisance. It is unsightly. You don't really want it in your tank. But it's not harmful and it's no big deal to deal with. They do make treatment products for blue-green slime remover. So there you go. One final look at some good old cyanobacteria. Thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe if you're not already. That way you won't miss any little oddball videos like this. Hope that helps somebody out. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.